Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Probably Not the Best Garage. I'm Riley. This is what I'm working on behind me on this multi part series. It's going to be a rewire update kind of a video with some carbon fiber, a little bit of wiring thrown in here. Just a really uh, uh, taking this boat that's behind me. It's a 1998 ZX202C Skeeter bass boat. It does have a 225 horse carbureted mercury on it, which is a little different. I'll throw a couple of videos out about that motor a little later. Uh, some things that you may run into if you do have one of these or if you find one and you're interested in it. Uh, so I hope that works out for you. But as for this, we're gonna rewire this boat, take it from its original original uh, factory switches, which were a little outdated. It just looks like something from the 90s and we're gonna move it up to something a little more modern, a whole lot cleaner, and something I think makes this boat look a whole lot nicer. There is a lot of custom work involved in this one as far as just some, uh, some oddball here and there things, but nothing that you can't do with just a really standard set of tools. Okay, so stay tuned. One thing I am gonna apologize for right out of the gate, the camera angle on this until I started editing, I shot this entire thing and realized that the camera was flipped the wrong way. So I'm sorry, it's gonna be really zoomed in. I'll try to do better on those in the future. Uh, but uh, stick with it. I'm gonna to try to edit these. There's the foreman right here. There he goes. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna to try to uh, get these fixed and to where the videos are a little nicer. Also, I'm gonna to try to update the audio quality on these just to give it a little bit better boost. So if you are here uh, and you've seen something before, thanks for coming back, I really appreciate it. And if you haven't seen anything before, check out something else uh, and we'll uh, we'll try to put some some new videos out here and there. This is going to be several series, uh, several parts to this series. So I'm gonna to try to get them done as quick as possible so you can more or less see the end result. I also will have a couple of little pictures that pop up here and there of the finished product. Uh, so you can see kind of what you're going for. And I'll actually put those both before and after right here at the beginning of this video. So you can see if this is even something that you wanna look at. Uh, so I hope that you enjoyed it. If you do, please leave a comment below uh, or just feel free to hit that like button. And if nothing else, if you don't hit the like button, you don't subscribe, you don't leave a comment, that's fine. Send it to somebody that you hope might, uh, might help them. Hope everybody gets something out of it. Let's get after it. Part one coming at you right now. Enjoy. I wanted to show you a little idea I had here. This is the one panel that goes on this side. It's now gonna have the power button located on that circle there. Uh, the problem that I ran into was this. The original hole for this uh, looked like this in the back. And what this is, the three little spots, this one, this one, this one, all three of those, were for three indicator lights, basically, that look similar to this switch right here. So you had an on, which just lit up the top, and then you know, on lights on both sides. Maybe you obviously would click the switch over. The problem is this power button that I got, which I really like, I'll leave a link to it in the description there. Uh, it worked really good. The problem is the hole is way too big. I mean, it will not even, you know, can't even fit. So I had to figure out something else to do. What this is, a lot of guys, you probably have this in your uh, garage already. What this is, is the top of a WD-40 can or carburetor cleaner or anything like that. What it is is three quarter inch hole drilled in the top of it. You can see the edge just barely on the edge of the rim there uh, is what's left. So I'm gonna drop this in and it looks something similar to this right here. Whenever it's all done, obviously that hex headed washer right there goes on the back. Uh, so what's, what's gonna happen as a result of it, I'm gonna put body filler over the top of it to where this is all smooth. All right, so you're not gonna see this. This is basically just acting as a big plastic washer uh, as a filler piece. So we're gonna smooth it out here with body filler. Then it's gonna get the carbon fiber wrapped over the top of it. Uh, but it worked pretty good, just as a little uh, little thing. If you need a, a quick washer, you know, when you go from something that looks like that to this, and then I'll show you the finished product here in a minute. But that's what we got. All right, so I'm gonna attempt, I've never used body filler before. This is just Bondo body filler from uh, Walmart. It's actually not looking all that great. So we're gonna see if it works. There's the piece. Uh, as I said a second ago, you know, the uh, the outer ring, we're trying to get rid of this whole piece to where it's all flat. We'll uh, feather sand it or just sand it, whatever you want to call it down. Um, I'm not too worried about it grabbing because that is a lot of super glue that's in there. It's, it's cured up now, but it's really, really gritty. 
Uh, got a lot to you know grab a hold of. So we're gonna try this and see. I don't really recommend doing this on the side of your boat like I'm about to do, but whatever. It'll wipe off maybe. Let's put it on here all like that. Maybe a little more. Oh, dang it. I'm gonna somewhat cake it on. I'm gonna say don't be uh, don't be shy with it, you know, you can always sand it off. Otherwise you're gonna have to build some more and put it back on there, so we don't want that. Somewhat smoothed out. I'll, I'll show you the finished product here in just a second whenever I get this. I'm just gonna continue to kind of build this up. Kind of use all the material that I've mixed up here, which is not that much, but. All right, come back in a second. It's already starting to get a little bit tacky, so I'm gonna give it about 20, 25 minutes or so. I've got a ton of hardener and a ton of uh, body filler left, so I'll sand it off, get it somewhat cleaned up. You can tell already it's trying to shrink up, which is fine, I think. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and give it another dose. What I want, you know, over the top of this anyway, is gonna get the carbon fiber wrap over it. So I'm not too terribly concerned with it being, you know, perfectly flush like it would on a car or something like that. I'm really not concerned with it, but I'll get it cleaned up after it cures. I'm going to set it over here to the side and work on something else. Let it cure and then we'll be back. All right, so here's after the uh, first coat is dried. Obviously, you can see the ring right in there, which is still okay. I'm not worried about it. I'm going to sand it up and give it one more coat just to get a little more. I think that might be a little bit much for the... Uh, carbon fiber to cover up. It might be okay, but just to play it safe, I don't want to ruin it right now. So one more coat, I'm going to clean it up and we'll see what happens. Right, so after round one of the body filler, it, it came out fairly decent, just kind of caking it on there. I don't know if you can see much of this, but um, it does have a pretty good dip right in here. Uh, so I do want to go ahead and knock that out just to make sure it looks okay. I truthfully, I think it actually might be okay to leave it just like this. It's pretty flat. Uh, but I'd like it to look just a shade nicer. All I did was uh, let it cure for the appropriate time on the can. It said 20 to 30 minutes, so that's what we did. Uh, in about 20 minutes, it was really getting uh, set up good. So I will say this, you better work fast if you're gonna put it on there. Um, but we put it on there, hit it with some 100 grit uh, sandpaper first to get it knocked down somewhat smooth. And then what's left is 320 grit. Uh, just to really get it to where I can actually see it. Uh, I'll tell you this too, on the 100 grit, it's really hard to see kind of where the really deep uh, gouges were. It was kind of filled in. Uh, so hit it with that 320, smooth it out, and it will show you where you need to go. Uh, don't worry about getting it in the cracks or anything like that. Just smooth it back out as well. And hit it with a little spray paint. It needs to have the black spray paint or whatever kind of paint, I guess, uh, up under it as a base coat uh, so that the white doesn't show through that carbon fiber but that's it for now i'm gonna hit it with one more coat i'll show you the finished product i'm not gonna bother with the uh the process because it's gonna be the same okay so here's the finished product with the uh the, the actual power button itself uh installed of course this is prior to paint i am going to suck this down a little bit tighter uh but that's kind of what i was going for is just to flatten it out you know get rid of the ring uh, it's not perfect. It will be just fine. I think for what I'm going to do, uh, it's going to get some black paint on it. I'll shoot just a quick picture and put it right here. And then we'll go back to the, uh, uh the carbon fiber wrap, just as a quick uh, wrap up of what I used here for the, uh, the little project. Bondo body filler came from Walmart. This is a three pack of these little uh, scrapers or squeegees or whatever you want to call them. And I got those also, I believe from Walmart. Had all this stuff forever. Mm. I mean, when I say forever, I'm mean, talking forever. Uh, I got some of this 3M 320 sandpaper and also a hundred. Uh, if you can find this stuff, this stuff is really awesome to just have around your shop on just as a little side note. Um, it's next to impossible to get, like to rip it, uh, which is good. I've had this same, I mean, I use these for everything uh and i've had them for probably seven or eight years at least uh so grab a couple of them if i can find the box i have I've lost all the boxes because they just last forever um but if i can find one of the little uh, packages that came in I'll, I'll try to snap a picture of it but 
That's all I used, just some body filler. The hardener's in it on the top of the can. What? Got the button in it. I'm gonna shoot some black paint over it, just some cheap, cheap, cheap paint. And that'll be it. I'll uh, start with the carbon fiber. So I'll show you a little quick picture and uh, we'll move on. So that's it. Okay, welcome back. The completed product here, as far as what it's gonna be for, for this anyway. Now, this is not gonna be winning any showroom quality awards by any stretch of the imagination, but y'all know from before what it is. It's a WD-40 uh, can lid that's underneath body filler, right? Smoothed out, here's a little bit of paint. I'm gonna try to get it to shine. You can still see there's a little bit of a dip right in here, right along the edge. I don't think it's gonna matter. We're gonna see, but I don't think it's gonna matter, okay? Um, I should note, before I painted this, I did go back to uh, another one of the 100 grit uh, papers. Did a 100 grit paper and I just scuffed it up so it's got something to grab a hold of. I'm not concerned. You can see all these scratches in it, right? Not concerned with scratches, it's getting covered up anyway. The black base coat, I'm more concerned with getting a good coverage on the base coat underneath uh, so that you're not seeing it underneath the carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is in this bag. So, you know, it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit grayer, I guess. That's a, that's a word, grayer. Um, and I get it out here just to kind of show you what it's gonna look like. All right, so got a little bit more of a shine to it. And you can see in comparison, it's gonna have a little bit more of a gray tint to it, I guess. I think, I don't know, I've never done this before. We're kind of winging it on this project to see what it turns out looking like. All of it is an improvement from what we had before. So stay tuned to part two. I'm gonna make this a two part video. The first was kind of making this piece. The second part is going to be uh, the actual wrap of it. So if you're wanting to tune into that, you can go ahead and do that uh, now. Uh, if not, check out something else on the channel. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, I'll uh, pop a little picture in here real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and snap that button in just so I can see what it looks like prior to. Uh, and then that'll be about it. So hope you like it. Hope you're enjoying the channel. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna put a lot of content out. It's not what I do for a living. If you enjoy it, let me know. If you don't enjoy it, keep it to yourself. <laughs> just kidding. Y'all have a good day. Hope you enjoy it. Take care. Get out on the water, catch some fish. Take your kids too. Get them outside. See ya.